The latest on the vaccine. We do know tens of thousands of vaccine doses are expected right here in the next few weeks. That's as soon as they are approved, of course. And we do know that healthcare workers and vulnerable populations will be the first in line for the vaccine, but there's still a lot we don't know yet. Lindsay Nadritz looking into this, trying to get answers. Lindsay? Well, as we wait for those vaccines to be approved, you're right, there are a lot of questions and concerns. So I spoke to Dr. Joe Sullivan, a senior health advisor with the Oregon Health Authority to get some answers. The first question I asked, should you get a vaccine if you've already had COVID-19 and recovered? The short answer is yes. Although rare, the CDC says there have been cases where someone gets COVID-19 a second time. Dr. Sullivan also said there's a difference between the antibodies you get from the vaccine and having natural immunity, meaning you had COVID and recovered. He also said the natural antibodies can go away over time, so he recommends getting a vaccine even if you've already had the virus. The antibodies that come from the viruses, or excuse me, from the vaccines, will be specifically for the spike protein, that little knobby thing on the outside of the coronavirus. When you get the natural disease, your body might produce multiple antibodies to the spike protein, but also to the envelope protein or other proteins. So you may have a, a, a number of other antibodies associated. Well, I also asked if there are any vaccine side effects. Dr. Sullivan said in all the vaccine trials, there were no serious adverse effects. So at most, he said the side effects would be having a sore arm, like if you got a tetanus shot, a low grade fever and fatigue. He also said those side effects are your immune system responding and that's to be expected. I'll have much more from him coming up at five o'clock. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Point Six News.